is up guys we are back into another video and then today um well okay so the this is my new thing to the channel um so like as soon, like whenever i start the video um right after like i do something random i'll uh talk about like like uh something new um just an announcement to my channel um, so this is the story of my lizard, um, yeah, and I'm trying, trying to do a 100 day post streak, so, last night I was sitting down, well, how about, okay, I'm gonna go in my living room and I'll tell y'all, alright, I'll see you. Oh. bloopers, yeah. Yeah, thumbprint's not working. Oh, ow, ow. One second, guys. Um, I have to move the scooter. <sighs> All right. So, it was neither back. Okay, no, 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 no. No, we're not starting it yet. But, okay, so, I was sitting there in bed last night. And I was thinking about what I said in the last video that I posted. Not the gaming videos, but the cleaning my lizard stuff. Okay, so whenever I'm mostly, like, talking about other YouTube videos, it's probably not, it's probably not my gaming videos. Oh, and also, that is a new thing. Um, I have gaming videos, as I said. It was going to be in the future. But, besides that, so I was sitting in my bed last night, and I was, I was kind of you know, worried about the stuff that I said at, at the end of the video, in the last video, but if you haven't seen the last video, then you should go watch it. Alright, I said, you know what, I mean, I mean, there's like, there's probably 10,000 people that has YouTube as their business, and I'm like, well, honestly, I, I can probably do this, and I want to do this, and I want this to be my business, and I know that's going to take a lot of work, but I will, I will freaking work as if, like, I have, you know, 20 million. But, I mean, even though I have at least, like, one right now, I am still going to work my hardest until I get to a thousand and start earning money. Because I really... Okay, so sometimes... I know I have a big house, but the thing is... I really need a thousand subscribers because, like, I have no money in my wallet because my mom, whenever she has to pay off her truck or something... She usually misses about 100 and at least, well, 100 to 200 dollars um, and has to ask me for money whenever I only get money for like, like twice a year. And that's, that's the thing. She never gets to be able to pay me back. So that's what I'm wanting to do. I'm wanting to get it to 1,000 subscribers so I can help her. If we ever come in, like, you know, if we ever struggle, like, and it happened quite a few times, but, alright, so let's get to the story, alright, so, this is my bearded dragon, his name is Beardy, okay, I got him back, back in, 2017 or 2018 so we went to the pet store I was looking for another chameleon but I was kind of I was just looking around and I, I seen that there was no more chameleons um I'm like man eh, I might get a bigger dragon and then I walked over to the bearded dragon uh, thing and right there up against the glass was Beardy. The 
absolute savage. He's the most savage bearded dragon on this planet. I'll tell you a story. Why? And what's the story behind Savage? Well, honestly, I think I might name him Savage. Do you comment down below if you guys want me to name? Oh yeah, that's another announcement. Um. Here, here, all the announcements will be skipped to the end, okay? So if you if you want to hear the, the announcements, watch till the end, okay? So, because I'm sure you guys get tired of that. So, I, whenever I looked, I seen him up against the glass. He was he was scratching. He was wanting out, and then like you know my kind of uh, you know you know you can go explore. You can lay on the couch if you want to. You you went down. Let's not do that, because if I pull my arm out, you're going to... But, anyways, um, here, get up on my so shoulder. How about that? Here. Guys, give me a second. I'm trying to fix him so he's not uncomfortable. I don't want him to be uncomfortable. I don't want my baby to be uncomfortable. You can get off. I mean, if you want to. But, okay, so... Whenever I was looking through the glass, I seen him up against the glass, like just sitting there wanting out, which I already said that. Um, remember, I have kind of, you know, a little bit of memory loss and kind of, I, this honestly, YouTube makes me excited to do. And I, I really want to make good content for y'all. But anyways, so whenever I look, yeah, I'm going back on the same subject, but, um, so, I put my hand on the glass, and it's like, he literally went, but Melm. I'm like, okay, that's the one. That is the one. And, <laughs> so, the worker got him out, and I said, can I hold it? And he said, yeah. And then, I, he got him out, and then the beard dry, he was like, he was like happy. It's like he was smiling. He, I mean, honestly, we still don't know if um, he was stressed or he was happy. But I, I didn't. He wasn't trying to jump out of my hand. He was loving it. He was like, his mouth was like, and like the. Okay, so there's things that bearded dragons do. They can smile like this. And then they they can like they can show a sign of like stress like this same way um, and you won't be able to tell the difference but like okay so yeah um, I, I don't need to just be doing um 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 um, um. but um so I got him out he was smiling and he was like. It's like he's his tail literally wagged like a dog. It went. Um, and we thought it was a we thought Beardy was a, a girl at first. Um, we was gonna name it. Um, what was it? It was Scarlet. But the thing is, if I get a girl beard dragon, that's what I'm gonna name it because uh, that's what we thought we was gonna name him. But okay. So it took us actually a year. No, no, my my line of events is out of. No, it's not. Um, it took us a year to find out he's a girl, and so. No, did I say it took us a year to find out he was a girl? No, it took us a year to find out he was a boy because we, the worker, I guess, didn't know how to, you know, uh, what's the correct words, to know if this is a boy or a girl. Because um, these, you can't tell the difference. You can, uh, there's, okay, so if there's, I searched up online, like, a year after, I searched up, 
Um, I searched up if it's a boy, what, how do you know if a bearded dragon is a boy or a girl? Okay, so it said if it's a boy, then it has two dots um, up above his bum hole. Um, <laughs> I said bum hole. But, um, anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> four, four little bumps um, above her bum hole um, if it's a girl. So, I was checking, and I'm like, oh, oh my god, that's a boy. <laughs> and, um, I was telling my mom and dad, and they're like, hmm. And they literally said, let me guess, you got it off the internet. I'm like, yeah. Thing is, when I first got him, I acted like, like I knew everything about Beard Dragons, but, I mean, I just got him off of YouTube. I mean, YouTube is the savior. And Chrome. And Google. Chrome is the same thing as Google, isn't it? Bah. I'm off, I'm off, I get it off subject. But, um, anyways. So, about a half a year after that. So, we had this, like, screen. Uh, it's not one of the metal, like, cage tops. It's a screen, like kind of kind, and it's like bendy. It's like it's like it's like kind of cloth, kind of metal. Yeah, and it's like wire. You know, I'll show you guys after like at the end. But um, so we didn't really worry too much about my door being open because um, usually my cat would stay out of there, but. Um, we thought we thought that the cat knew that it was in there, but it just didn't care. Um, here, guys. So here, how was it? So one day we was okay. So we was working on the washer machine. Me, my dad, and my stepdad. Um, my mom, I don't know where she was. She was in the house, but I don't know where she was. But, um, so, I was helping watching it, wash, well, helping, like, build it. I was like, man, you know, I can't build anything like that. So, I was reaching in tools, and then, um, I walked in there to get one of my screwdrivers that we didn't have, um, out of my room, and... Oh my God! Blood! I screamed bloody murder because my cat was in the cage with Beardy, and whenever I looked in there, I can I could have never unseen that. Beardy was in the cat's mouth. The cat was trying to chew down on him, like, really fast. Um, but I was screaming bloody murder, so I'm sure this whole house, the whole house heard me. And, oh, I'm not going to describe it because you guys will be like, oh. But, yo, I can never unsee that if this thing died from that. You asleep? I think he's asleep. Nah, he's not. But um, so I tried to reach in there and get him out. He was raised up in the air with the lizard in his mouth. But I tried to reach in there and grab him and pull him, pull the cat out to a. I was trying to grab him. To the back of the neck because that that paralyzes them. Don't it's not. Don't try to say it's animal abuse because that is how their mothers carry them if they have to, and it's not hurting them. Um, and really, it it, it it just paralyzes them. It doesn't it doesn't like actually paralyze them. They just can't move. It gets them in a lock. That's how their mothers do. It's not animal abuse. 
but so I try to reach in there and I try to get the cat from his neck, well, his back of the neck, and then I I couldn't get him out. So my dad, I, I think that's the fastest I've ever seen him run. Um, no offense, um, dad, if you're watching this, it's but like. I, honestly, I, I bet you my dad thought that, like, I was dying because how loud I screamed. And I screamed like a, like, I don't know. Honestly, like a, like a little girl on, I don't know, oxygen? I don't know. But, um, so... But, um, I think it's went down. I, I would let you down, but you know how to climb down. But, um, so, my dad reaches in there, and he, he successfully pulls him out, and the cat lets go of the bearded dragon, drops him, and then, like, so it took four hours for us to finally get a response, okay? So... I was I was crying. I was I was screaming, crying. I was just I was so mad that I honestly punched a hole in the wall, and then we it it was it hurt like a son of a gun, though. <laughs> Best bet. <laughs> um. So, like, you don't know how much I am connected with this bearded dragon. Like, I love him to death like he's a, like he's a son. You, you, you guys just don't understand. Um, here guys, I gotta end, the, I gotta end the clip right here because, uh, if it gets to a 20, I can't put that video clip in. So, I'm gonna start a new clip. Okay. So, after a minute or so, he's sitting there, he's, I guess, honestly, we think that he's deaf in one ear because the cat kind of, uh, bit him, like, in, like, I, I, we don't know if it was behind his ear or in his ear, but his, his, in his ear was bleeding, okay? So, right after, and his, his arms... I think it was his front left arm, I'm pretty sure, that was broke, and then his, his, his tail, like, like, the tip of his tail, I don't know how, but, like, fell off, I don't, I wouldn't show you guys, but, let's, no, <laughs> do you want me to show them at the end of the video? It's said no, sorry, but, um, I'll show you guys, but, um, so, just to be brief. So, uh, I was checking on him, like, every two minutes to make sure he's okay. I mean, I was scared. I was in there praying, like, every time I go in there, I'll pray to him, and I was, like, so desperate that I had three Jesus, Jesus cross necklaces put on the tank and then I was praying and then everything I had the Bible and I'm like oh please 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 God let this thing live because like we almost had to put him down because I didn't I hated I hate seeing an animal suffer like like something this little and then something big I I, I really just I just hate seeing any animal suffer, except for rats. I mean, you guys can't blame me. But, uh, so, whenever I went in there, I put a worm in there, and, like a mealworm, he, he, he just laid there. He, he, he acted like he's dead. It's, his mouth was open, his, his ear was bleeding, 
and his arm didn't look right. And I'm like, okay, he broke it. He broke it. And that's, I, I thought he was a done deal. So, that first day that that happened, he was, okay. So, about an hour, I walk in there, and I was just sitting there, because it was almost bedtime. I was sitting there with him, like, all night, and about 2 a.m., he finally stood up. He got up. He was smiling. I mean, his mouth wasn't open then. I think he was, like, in shock, but you know he was in pain. So... Okay, he's awake. But he had to have been in big pain. So it took, let's see, I don't know what time it happened, but I remember the time that I woke up and I seen it. It, it, it was somewhere around 2 o'clock. Um, I woke up. He was, he stood up. He, he stood up. But he, he his... His front left arm just wasn't moving. It was not going nowhere. So he had the he had to use three of his legs, and he was chasing that mealworm. But the thing is, he was too weak to eat it. So what we had to do for two days is we had to give him mashed blueberries, and then we. Uh, tried to give him a little bit of lettuce but we was also trying to feed him like like little 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 shredded carrots um he ate them and on day three he was able to he was strong enough to finally eat a mealworm again and since then we, we, every time I walk in that bedroom, I'm like, and I see him, and I'm like, that is one strong, savage animal. <laughs> um, and he really is. He beat that, and he, whenever he went for that mealworm, he did not care that his arm was broke. He did not, I mean, I'm sure it hurt, but he didn't. He didn't pay any attention to that. Um, he didn't let that get in his way of doing, well, living life and, you know, he, I think, I think honestly that was God's doing and Honestly, I think that was mostly a, a blessing. I, um, I was blessed whenever I finally knew that he was alive and he was going to be fine. We thought he was dead for um, five hours at least that day. And then, so after that, we took him to the uh, um, emergency animal hospital, and we got an x-ray on him, and then uh, then what else? I don't think we did anything else but get an x-ray on him. Uh, they tried to give us something, I don't know what it's called, to help with his arm, but they they just said that he needs to try to lay down and you need to hand feed him if he's gonna eat a worm or something and he needs to have like a lot of calcium. Just not too much and not too much little. What he, he but he does he does need that calcium that they said. So we take him home. Um it took him I don't know, a month to actually heal that arm and like it took him like 10 days. Okay, so 
first day, he's like, his arm was like less wobbly. And it's like, in that month, I don't know if it was a day I walked in there and then, so, uh, one day, I think, I think we, we took him back to the hospital because he, he, he literally was biting his arm and then he came back and he was, you know, here, I think he wants down. Well, I'm going to try to get him down. He's, he's sliding down like he wants to. Uh, get on we go. But, so he was, he was running, he was playing, and I, 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 they said not to get him out for at least a week, and that kind of made me, like, kind of sad. Um, he, he just like the couch. Then he OD. But, um. So, mm. don't try to jump off the couch, please. Don't try to jump off the couch. Um, if he does, he'll be fine. It's not that big of a call. But he is one of the most savage bearded dragons that there possibly is and one day when it, okay so we went to pet smart me and my dad we was looking for a metal a metal top for uh for the for the top of the cage Ugh. i can't i couldn't i couldn't get it through my head but so we put it on. Um, that same day, we kind of forgot to close the door. We walk in, and the hat was on the cage. And then this thing looked up at it, and it literally made the loudest bearded dragon hiss that I've ever heard. And I'm like, oh, my God. That cat backed off. He, every time that that cat tries, he, no, that cat tries to run in the room because he knows that he's in there. But if he sees that cat, he'll hiss. He remembers that cat and I would like for you guys to share this so everyone can hear this savage's story. <laughs> he's came a long way. And, and I thank, I thank God for all this. I really do. And, I'm emotional, guys, if you haven't noticed yet. Um, I'm starting to get really emotional. But, now, he's the most lovable lizard that there is. And honestly, I'm not saying that. He loves to play. He loves to explore. And he's probably one of the strongest animals that I've seen. And I've had a lot of strong dogs. And I'm telling, no, no. He's the strongest reptile. I'd say some dogs are honestly stronger. But the thing is, for something that little, he was a baby too. Like, he was little, little. That was whenever I first got him. So, being that little, he's a strong. He's strong, strong. And I do know one story of a bearded dragon that really is a lot worse than that. But the thing is, I, I, that one's a lot stronger because it, it was abused. It had a scar down his back. It got cut open. 
it, it was horrible. I can never do that to another a, a fellow bearded dragon. Ever. I can never hurt one. If it was on accident, I think I would hate myself for it. I would hate to hurt my bearded dragon or any kind of other bearded dragon. I would love bearded dragons. They're one of my favorite animals. Can you stop looking at my cat? <laughs> I think he's hungry. After this video, I'll feed him. But, um, so, now he's just, he loves to be out. He's, he loves to be out. He's kind of, you know, kind of weary of me, but that's, that's because I'm not able to, like, get him out all the time because, like, you know, and, yeah, just, it, just, it, yeah. But, so, that's my, that's, that's my bear dragon story. And, I think he'll do big things one day. And I think me and him would be a great duo on YouTube. And honestly, I want to make that happen. I want to make that happen. The best, the biggest duo and the best duo on YouTube, a bearded dragon and, um, um, a kid, the love of a kid and a bearded dragon. I want that to make that happen. Can we please make that happen, YouTube? Please. <laughs> but um, yo, know, he's 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 literally liking my idea right now. He's literally looking at me, and he went, you know, actually, I'm kind of actually surprised that he has a poop a poop on me, and I've I've owned him for almost two years now, and he still has a poop on me, and I get him out all the time, and I just leave him on my shoulder and stuff like that. He, he loves to lay. He just loves to be lazy. Every time I let him on my bed, he'll usually play for a little bit. He'll, like, run around. He, he, he does kind of... Whenever I leave his cage door open, he, he always tries to jump, but... tries to be Superman, but he, he's not. So... But whenever it's closed, he doesn't dry it. So whenever it... Whenever I get him out on the bed and the things close, he'll just run around and then he'll play and then, and then like at random times, he'll just, he'll lick my bed just like he licked my couch. But, alright. I would get, show you guys the screen, but, okay. In tomorrow's video, um, it'll be... Right after I get out of school, I wasn't able to go to school this whole... Are you going to jump off? Did, you licked, so did... You looked at your lips, so did... Is that a yes? I think, I think, I think that's a yes. Don't, please. Please. I don't want to hurt yourself. But, so... This whole week, I wasn't able to go to school because I had the virus. Ew, he just licked my scooter handle. You just licked my handle back to my handlebar. Why? <laughs> I love you, yo. I love him, though, guys. Like, I have the biggest love for my bear dragon. And no one else could tell me anything. I literally, whenever his light blue and I didn't have a, li a replacement light bulb I let him sleep with me and I woke up one morning and he was on my chest laying and I put him right beside of me on a pillow and then I woke up and he was on my chest laying and sometimes he can be weary of me oh he's over there just laying down sometimes
sometimes he can be weary of me. I mean, like every time I get him out, he'll he'll whenever I grab him to get him out, he'll 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 swish his tail around because you know he's he he just thinks it's like an eagle or no I think sometimes it brings him back memories of what happened and I get that I get that. So, if, if I miss a day, I'm doing this, guys. I, I, I ain't reading comments for this. Oh, yeah. So, I promised at the end of the video. I didn't promise. But I said, at the end of the video, I'll make announcements. So, so YouTube, um, I don't think YouTube did this, but YouTube did do this for a reason, and I kind of thank them for this. But they, so I went on there and it said comments disabled, and I was clicking on it to undisable, but it wasn't working. So um, I said, and I went on the why would my comments be disabled, and I was reading it, and it said probably because YouTube, where I'm a minor, um, YouTube doesn't want any harsh comments going to me, um, and they're protecting me, and I thank YouTube for that, and I. I like how their their kind of stuff is like you know upgraded like that and um so I got banned from my last account um because I accidentally uh said something that sounded like a bad word I think and then like I, I, I kind of feel bad well I, I kind of hate myself for that because I, I really didn't but um, I mean that's fine now because I got a better and friendlier account and finally got a friend to do the YouTube channel with I thank YouTube for his policy though I mean um, so like all you got to do is just push, just push the like button and just, just, just subscribe, please. I, I, I really, really, really need to have subscribers. And I chose this as my business and I really want this to work out in life. Like really, really bad. And I've got, let's see... like eight years until I'm out on my own and I have to fend for myself. So I've got plenty of time. So can we please, 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 please subscribe. Just smash that subscribe button. And if you can just help a little bit, like, but I, I just really want you guys to subscribe. Um, if, if you guys can help me by subscribing and that that makes if I get to a thousand subscriber subscribers that means this account is going to be a lot better and this and my content is going to be a lot better and my like I, I had to film on my film on my phone and what I'm doing is I'm saving up for a vlog camera and but I really need your guys help to get to a thousand subscribers so I can buy a PC as a editing equipment um, I have a Chromebook computer which there's nothing wrong with it but there's editing sites that's like the best um, that I really need so Get, please, 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 please. I want this to be. Oh, you got it, then. Oh. But. Subscribe, please. And. Can I at least get to 10 subscribers by the end of the month? And please share this story 
of my lizard with a friend, your family members, or anything, or just 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 share, please. I want this to get out there, and I want my YouTube account to like. I want to get to the thousand subscribers so I can make good content for this world. And getting to a thousand subscribers means I can do a way, 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 way better. And all you got to do is subscribe. Okay? That's all I ask. Am I going to bug you guys no more? I'm going to end it. All right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post, boys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Can we just take a minute and talk about how cute my bearded dragon is? <laughs> Snuggled up over there and napping. Yo, oh, it's so cute. Like, or, but, subscribe. Oh, this guy is gonna take your Oreos. Bye.